In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python. There are several ways you can install Python. You can get the latest and greatest version by going to python.org, I believe. However, I am going to get Anaconda. It is nice for data sciences or quantum computing. It's packaged with a lot of tools that are already set up for that. So we will go to anaconda.org, I believe. And you can get a Python distribution here. So you can click Download Anaconda, and uh, you can just download it. So it should recognize your computer platform. Now, if you are on a Mac, I would recommend, and this is what I personally have had most success with, is I get the command line installation. So let's see how that goes. I think if I go down here, well, you can get the Mac for Intel or Mac for Apple, Silicon. Um, I'll show you the Windows download in a moment, but um, I guess I'm not seeing it here at the moment. Let's see, it might be down at the bottom. Okay, in this case for a Mac, oh, there it is. Okay, Anaconda installers. And on the Mac, I've had the most success with command line installers because I've just been best able to upgrade, add packages in that case. So. All you have to do is choose your version. So 64-bit command line, that's what I will use because I am on an Intel processor. If you're on an Apple processor, then you will use this M1 version. So I would click here and download it. And then there are some links for the command line setup. So I'll just put that here. Um, and it's downloading. If you are on a PC, it's pretty much the same. Search for the free download, then you can just hit the download button, get your download, and then double click it and follow the installation. And that's it, and you'll get a, a nice free Anaconda distribution of Python. For the Mac users, let's discuss how to install from the command line. So what I would do here is I would maybe do a search for Mac command line install Python Anaconda. And then this is from the Anaconda documentation. And uh, it's going to tell you, you're not doing the wizard install. This would be the command line install. You can do the wizard install if you like at your own risk. Like I said, I've always had better luck with the command line install. And so you can just follow these directions. This would have downloaded it to my downloads folder. So uh, generally you're going to want a, a command line, a terminal basically. So go to the magnifying glass here and then type terminal or term and then it'll complete it for you. And I already have two terminal windows open here so I can just navigate to my downloads. CD tilde, which is my home folder, then downloads and then uh, ls-lt, and then pipe head. Uh, ls-lt was going to show me a lot of stuff, but if I use head, it'll just show me like the first 10 lines. But you can see the first entry up there is the Anaconda installer. And so then you can just go through the steps here. I'm going to recommend Python 3, not Python 2. And some instructions that you're going to have to adapt, I suppose. Um, but you don't have, see, this is if you want to change the default install location, you don't have to. Uh, I wouldn't. So yeah, these are the um, installation instructions. So they're going to verify the integrity of the downloader. Follow the instructions here. SHA sum dash A 256 path to installer. So like this. And then I'm already in the folder to this installer, so I can just type the name, Anna. And then there's some auto-completions. You can actually see I downloaded this file before, and then I downloaded it again. That's one version when we got it. And you can see here it spits out the sum. And then here's the hash index, right? That's what we need to see. And uh, here it is, I believe. And so I can compare this number, the 0C64A, here's a 0C64A, 
so on. Ends in 897. Looks good. Okay. Once we've done that, we will use this command right here. And uh, we'll customize it so it'll look like this. Bash. And I, I'm already in this folder, tilde download, so I can just type anaconda, and then it'll tab complete. And then that's it. That'll start the installation process, and then you can go through the rest of this. I'm not going to do it because I've already installed it. I would recommend and you know saying yes and entering uh, to accept the default installation location. It may take a few minutes to complete, but uh, you are on your way to getting a three Python installation. Once you have your installation, you should have this Anaconda Navigator app. It takes a moment to come up. Mine came up on another screen, so here it is. Um, I'm not going to update my Anaconda Navigator right now, but it has some tools, nice tools to use. We'll eventually like to use Jupyter Notebook or, or preferably Jupyter Lab. We'll come back to that later. On Windows, once you have this installed, you can use the Anaconda Navigator also. And here's our Navigator. Again, it takes a while to open up, so I sped it up. And on Windows, sometimes it's helpful to use the PowerShell prompt. Uh, it's much like a Mac terminal or a Unix terminal. All right, so we can hopefully get Python and we can start it up and at least get to the navigator. In the next video, I'll show you one way, there are many ways, but one way that I like to use Python. We'll use Jupyter Lab. It's actually a fairly popular way to do it. So if you found the video helpful, remember to hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Always welcome new subscribers. Leave a comment also. Welcome your comments. Thanks and have a great day.